Right now you get nice. You get nice. <coughs> I in it way too much. You feel like burning on my nose. So my tongue. I can taste it. It tastes like mint and chemicals. It's just two sprays. Damn. Don't wear more than two sprays. <laughs> Oh, hell the bed, it's your boy Big Bear B, and we back for another edition of Big Bear Business. Today, we're doing a fragrance review on that Versace. Versace Eros. I know you guys have seen this fragrance before. Nothing new to you. This one was given to me as a gift from my wife, man. I feel like I'm always saying that my wife is buying me all my fragrances. Trust me, I'm not a bum. I do buy my own fragrances. Do tons on tom, okay? From time to time. But uh, this one was given to me for a birthday gift. I think we were together. We picked this out, purchased it for me. That was a few years back, so I think I got it kind of when it came out. Packaging's pretty cool, man. You got the Medusa head on the front. I think that's Medusa. Y'all let me know if that's Medusa or not. Gold top here, Medusa head on the front. Then you got this like maze on the back and the front of it. Pretty cool presentation. It's just really like a classy, cool bottle. And that's the presentation. Spread itemizer, pretty good on there. You get nice. The note breakdown on this is pretty cool. You have mint, green apple, sandalwood, vanilla in this one too. Those are just a few of the notes in this one that gives that, that nice classic feel. When I smell this one, it smells classic, but it doesn't smell old, if that makes sense to you guys at all. Like to me, this is like a newer rendition on like something my grandfather would have had in his collection. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing at all. I really like this fragrance. This one here is like a more mature vibe, but it doesn't, again, even though it's mature, it doesn't feel old to me. I feel like a man coming out of his teens into his 20s could definitely get away with this. Then obviously everyone up and above. This one is a mature scent, but it doesn't give you that old man feel. I know a lot of people out there really regard this fragrance for clubbing. To me, I, I don't get that from this fragrance. It is a powerhouse fragrance nonetheless, but I don't think for me, if I'm going to step out and cause a scene, then I'm not wearing this one to any type of social outing event where I really want to stand out. I personally feel like this one would do extremely well in in the office just casual wear will work as well but it is a powerhouse fragrance so if that's something that you wanted to do if you wanted to wear it out clubbing i'm sure from my test this one would do extremely well for you and last you all night to me this is a darker heavier scent it's not really dark but it's a heavier scent i get more of a fall and a winter vibe from this fragrance i live in florida so as you guys see i don't have much of it used in the time frame that i had it oh i guess it's about a third of the way done but this one to me is more of a winter time fragrance it has that darker more potent vibe that it's going to give off it's going to project like crazy i just don't feel like it'll do extremely well in the heat best fitted for the cold weather in my personal opinion if you guys wear this in the spring and the summer comment below and let me know if i'm crazy so like i said this one projects like crazy so if you're going to be in an office setting i'm not sure that you want to do too heavy on the sprays on this one maybe two three sprays on this one max because this is going to have a big scent cloud and it's going to project and people are really going to get to notice you so from a performance standpoint on this one, I would say this one is going to last you maybe closer to that 18 hour mark. Let me explain to you why. I sprayed this on my hand about 5 p.m. Went to sleep. I woke up at 5 a.m. Went to the gym, came back from the gym, and before I got in the shower, I smelled myself and it was still on my hand. Pretty potent. I took it to my wife and I like, look, smell this. Even after I went to the gym, I was sweating, slept, everything, you could still smell it. So I don't think you'll have any problem with this one lasting on your skin throughout a regular day longevity again long projection and sea eyes on this one is going to be crazy this one is a projection monster the sea eyes for me is going to last maybe about three and a half to four hours on this and that's with a modest spray so i know a lot of people like to over spray on this one because it's such a good fragrance you know if that's what you do do it but you might drown a few people out have them choking wear some gas masks but this one is definitely going to get you noticed with two to three sprays easily this one is going to garner you a ton of compliments i believe the arrow stands for like the God of Love or Versace's translation of the God of Love. So the women, oh, the women are going to love you if you wear this one right here. So if you want compliments from women, wear this. Men will compliment you as well, but you care about the women complimenting you. So I care about the women complimenting you as well. So wear this one, it'll be a compliment monster, projection monster, performance monster. Definitely gonna last you. This one should be readily available at all of your big box retailers. It's a best-selling fragrance. So if you're looking to buy this retail, if you need to go ahead and get it, you're gonna be 
probably about 90 bucks with taxes included, at least where I'm at. I think this retails for about 85, 86 bucks when you add the tax on there. This should be available at some online sites. However, I can tell you that I own the fragrance, so I haven't gone to check it. So if you guys wanna go through and list where you've been able to purchase this and list your best pricing, I'm pretty sure we'll all benefit from that as well. The overall rate on this, I'm gonna give it a eight. I mean, if you spray one, one iota, one spray too many, you're gonna go way downhill on this one, right? You don't have much room to over spray on this one. So this one's gonna get an eight. Versace Eros in the books, man. Versace, Versace, Versace. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I've had this one for a few years and I love it. I ran into a few people that have it, but it's not like overly saturated out there. I think you guys can get this, wear it. Hell, you might even be able to make this a signature scent and get away with it if you are not afraid to wear this in the heat. It has citrus in it, so I guess you could wear it in the heat, but to me, just based on where I am, I think it's more of a fall and winter fragrance in my humble opinion. It's your boy, Big Bear B. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. We back again. And as the goddess of love would tell you to do, show me some love and hit the goddamn bell. Hit it!